Kia Year 13, here are the first three questions from question one of last year's integration exam. So the first one um, requires us to find this integral. Now you're given your formula sheet um, and it will show you that the derivative of tan x is 6 squared x. So in this problem we know that the integrals are going to be in the form of tan of 2x. Um, but if we look at that and differentiate it back, we're going to get 2 tan 2x. But we want to get 4 tan 2x, so we need to multiply by 2. So it's 2 tan 2x plus c. Next question. Um, here we're looking at finding the area under a curve. And we've got two lines here, vertical lines at 1 and 4. So we want to find this definite integral. But first we can simplify y. So y is equal to x squared plus root x on x, which is just x plus, well let's look at this, the square root of x over x is equal to x plus 1 on root x which is equal to x plus x to the negative a half. Now for lots of you, you'll be going, oh, why did she do it in that many steps? And that's fine. It's totally fine to go from here through to this step here. But some of you will still need a bit more practice with um, simplifications like that one. So now we're ready to go with the integrating. We can write this integral like this. x plus x to the negative a half dx. Now I just have to use the power rule twice over. So I've got a half x squared plus 2x to the power of a half. So how did I know to do that too? Well, here I'm moving up 1 from negative a half up to a half. When I differentiate the half though, um, I'm going to have a half plonked in front of my x. And I don't want it, I just want 1 in here. So I need to multiply by 2 to make that happen. And I want the integral between 4 and 1. So now we're going to evaluate it. We'll get a half times 4 squared plus 2 times root 4. Take away a half times 1 squared plus 2 root 1. So all of that gives me 8 plus 2 twos are 4. 8 plus 4 minus a half minus 2. And that gives me nine and a half for my answer. Right, the last question in here is a merit question, and it's a little kinematics question. Um, not really anything you couldn't have done at level two. You just have to move slowly through it. And remember that when we're working with kinematics, we've got distance, and we've got velocity, and we've got acceleration. And we differentiate to get from one to the next, and that's what we're going to do here. Just read carefully, acceleration is modelled by this function, and t is given as the time in seconds since the start of the object's motion. Now that's useful because it tells me that s of zero is equal to zero. That's almost always going to be the case, but it's always worth thinking about. So the object had a velocity of seven metres per second after four seconds. So we can write v at four, is equal to 7, and we need to find how far it travelled in the first 9 seconds of motion. So it's a simple problem because we just have to find the displacement after 9 seconds. So let's start by saying um, what's velocity. Well v of t is going to be the integral of acceleration, so anti-differentiating. What do we get? Well, we're going to get 1.2 times t to the power of 3 over 2 times 2 thirds. And again, I'm moving this up by 1, so I have to make the adjustment to the coefficient. Right, and we'll clean that up in a second. And now I need plus c. So 2 thirds of 1.2 is 0.8 t to the 3 over 2 plus c. Now, what do I use to find the plus c? Well, I've got v of 4 is equal to 7. So substituting in, I get 7 is equal to 0 0.8 times 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. 
So when we work that through, we get 7 is equal to, um, so this is uh, 8, so 6.4 here plus C, C is equal to 0 0.6. So that gives me now a nice expression for velocity, V of T is equal to 0.8 T to the 3 over 2 plus 0.6. And now we're ready to, to go back up and get displacement. So S of T is going to be the integral of this. So it's the same thing, working backwards. It's going to give me 0.8 T to the 5 over 2. And I need to times by 2 fifths to undo the impact of this, plus 0.6t plus c. So what a, that gives me 0.32t to the 5 over 2, plus 0.6t plus c. So that's s of t. So now we have to find the plus c in there, the, the constant, but we know here that s of 0 is equal to 0. So I'm going to use a new slide to, to keep going on this, even though we've nearly finished it. So this is what we had from the integration, 0.32t to the 5 over 2, plus 0.6t plus c. But we know that 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus c. So c is equal to 0. So s of t is simply this, now we have to find, oh, I don't know, what happened to that, where's it gone, here we are, okay, so, sorry about that, um, now we just substitute in t is 9, so s of 9 gives me 0 0.32 times 9 to the power of 5 over 2, plus 0.6, times 9. And that works out to be 83.16 and I need to check the meters, uh, the units and its meters. Okay, so that's how far it's traveled in the first nine seconds.